Bought some auction items off of Highbid locally, and we're about to go through them. Amanda picked them up, so I know what I want, but I don't really know the condition because I didn't go to the, the early viewing thing. I wish I could have, but I couldn't. So we're going to get into it, and did I make a terrible mistake? Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, I've got the I've got the um, manifest that says what you paid for each thing. So we'll start with Sega Genesis Game Lot. You paid ten dollars and there was a thirteen percent buyer's premium. So you paid eleven thirty for these games. This one has a blockbuster sticker on it. Wow. So looking at this, there was the one game that was good. So there was Madden 96, not good. NBA Jam, not good. But WWF No Mercy is good. Madden 96 goes for like $4. So not really worth much. But I do, I have that Sega Genesis from the storage unit. So it's just, good. I'll put it in there when I sell that. Yeah. NBA Jam. Eight dollars. Okay. Okay. So I mean that's the same thing. That that will be put in with the Genesis system that I have. WWF No Mercy goes for thirty-four bucks. That's this is from Price Charting. Oh, that's in Canadian. Somebody sold one for fifty-four dollars and thirteen dollars shipping. Canadian. And I mean, it's got writing on it. It's in okay condition. The back's not tore up. So that's good. So I mean, I think I'll definitely get 30 bucks from it. And I paid. Like 13. And I paid for 13. all of them. 13. No, I not was, 13, like 12 for all of them. Yeah, and that was my max bid for this one just because of this. So, one thing good. So we're starting off strong. Starting off good. Okay. Next, we have large plug and play game lot. So you paid sixteen fifty ish for all of this stuff. This, Show. you know, I love love the plug and play. This is a large bunch of them. Well, actually, this one was separate. Yeah, the Atari one. one was separate. This one was separate. Okay, so I'll just start pulling it out. Okay. This sh shocking liar game that'll probably be, f yeah. So this, I mean, that sells for. I see some for seventeen fifty nine free shipping. So I don't it know. Works. If it works, it'll just be in the yard sale. Which I don't. It probably doesn't work. This is garbage. I know. These are all probably garbage now that I'm seeing that. The problem was they had a day you could go and view everything. But I couldn't go on that day. So, okay, so far, nothing great. We got a Bop It Extreme. These are good, I'm pretty sure. But 183 listed, 805 sold. Bop It Extreme. I'm seeing some for $21.99 plus shipping, $39.99 plus shipping, $18, so $20 to $30 wow. plus shipping, as long as it works. And then it's not corroded. That was twisted. Doesn't sound great, but I mean, I think that's 20 bucks. Catchphrase, Scrabble, catchphrase. 33 listed, 59 sold. This will probably be in the yard sale. Yeah. It sells for 585 plus shipping. So that'll be in the yard sale. And this stuff's so dirty. Yeah. Simon Swipe. Are you showing it? Did you show it? To I was going to look it up. I'm still on it. Simon Swipe. 519 listed. 
41 sold for one for 1049 free shipping like yard sale wheel of Yikes. fortune Ugh. it's all gross i mean as long as the spinner still works there's no back there's to no it. back Ugh. so i don't even know who it's by so i mean i've sold this one before but there's one right there selling for five dollars yeah for shipping so, so Yard sale. Hello? Okay, it's not working. Alien recorder? Alien recorder. It's like... Why are these all missing the backs? Every single one of these plug and plays. I know, it's very annoying. It does not have the back. Yeah, I wish I... I don't see nothing on this. I wish I would have been able to go... I'll check it out. No, that one at the back is on it. Deal or no deal. I mean, it's in rough shape, though. There's actually two of those. 2006. 44 listed, 21 sold. Let's see, one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Yikes. $14.99. I mean... I mean, you can sell a lot of things. I, I mean, if I could have gone. Is it supposed to have something here? I guess. Let's be on the lookout for that. Golden tea. Thousand five Radica. Like sixteen dollars. So, I mean, the bop it works, so I got my money back in the bop it. Yeah. This sells for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, free shipping. So. Is it, but is it supposed to have some power cord? Oh, uh, I guess that's like optional. Yeah. Like it doesn't come with the power cord. Yeah. And so, I mean, I could sell this. Yeah, you could sell that. For 10 bucks, probably, plus shipping. Um, stop looking. This is a Konami microphone. <clears throat> it's like you, this stuff that you source, you know, you're gonna make some money. And I had fun. Yeah, you had fun. 338, 9.99. You didn't have to go out looking for stuff. You know what I mean? That's, there's some value yeah. in that. This, I mean, is like $5. There's some value in that. Scooby Doo Mystery Machine. Zoinks. No back. They're killing me with that. Because it's like I can't really look it up. The way you look these up is it'll say the company and the date on the back of it. And a lot of them are like Jack specific. This one I'm seeing. 40 listed. 51 sold. So this one will be alright. Even without the back, I think I can get like ten dollars for it. Because I mean, if you're if you collect these, it just sits on a shelf. So this is listable. Ten bucks. So there was one of these in there. Oh. Yeah. So because there's another one. And this actually looks like it's in good condition, and it turns on. So, eight listed, 12 sold, $5 plus shipping. I swear I looked this up because I bid on that single one. Maybe I looked up something else. I'll need to look it up again. But I mean, this is clean, so I think I would try to just sell this in the yard sale for $5. You keep talking about this yard sale. <laughs> Oops. This is like a. Some or something, maybe. Yeah, isn't it something like that? <laughs> it's supposed to be, but it's like you. I think you put your like your hand through it or something like that. It's pretty dirty. Sputter. And. It doesn't have the 
freaking back, but at least it's not corroded. That is true. This could all be stuff that was corroded. So, at least there's that. I see one sold for $15, $15 plus shipping. And this one has no back, so I don't know. Maybe could sell for something. Okay. I'll probably just throw this away. This is like one of those Can you put your phone, your phone in? in headset things. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this away. Or give it to the goodwill. I don't know. Do people even buy those from the Goodwill? No, I feel like always I, there. I feel like I always see those. Got a super pack super pack, man. man. God, where's the backs to all these? And this one looks super cool. Super pack, man. How do you spell pack, man? Super pack, man. Plug and play. 48 listed, 33 sold, 15.99 plus shipping, okay. 10 plus shipping. It's like, so it's like you make your money back on, well, almost your money back on one. Well, I guess on the box. Yeah. This, I mean, I've seen these at the Goodwill. They're, you know, I don't know. The back of it looks kind of turn it around. The back looks like the batteries exploded in there. Yeah. I don't even need to look this up. I've seen these at the Goodwill a hundred times. They're not worth anything. But as I say that, somebody's gonna look it up and destroy me. This is probably garbage. This is, yeah, this is broken. Oh, it's broken, yeah. So. The wires are like coming out of it. Okay. Well here, why don't you just put the garbage in here. And the last thing in there is this, which is also garbage because it's missing the cord for this. That's the last thing in there? Yeah. So how do we get our money back? Because the whole reason that I bought this unit... Let's try not to be mad. The whole reason... It's going to take me forever. Past bids. So they had one picture of everything that was in there. And... You can obviously tell something's missing. Wow. So. Yeah, that wasn't in there. This, the Walking Dead, that gun thing, that's not in there. And that was like $20, $30. So. Well, I'll call them. Yeah, that's kind of. And be like, hey, is this around somewhere? Because it wasn't in the box. And it's like. That's the second time that's happened to us. We've, We've been done burned. an online auction and like you go to pick it up and it's not the same thing. And that's why I wanted you to go because I don't know what's supposed to be in there. She's doing that. Here's another one. This was. That one was separate. I think it was $2. Oh, okay. I hope it was $2. I think it was $2. This one was separate. It's another one of these. This one was separate. There's another one of these Atari. Another one. Things. Very clean. TV games, Atari plug and play system. Two dollars. Okay, good. Plus thirteen percent buyer's premium. Okay, next we have one, two, three, four, five. You paid two dollars each. Yeah, a little over two dollars for each one. They are these Master Chief costumes. Let's see. Let's I mean, they're. No, this is from 2020. Yeah. So, there's they were two sold listed, at Costco. Two sold. I mean, one sold for $33.99 plus shipping. Yeah. And that sold on March 25th. The other one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Child size large. I paid large. $2. They're brand new. And I mean, if they're all the same size, I mean, it could be one listing. 
They're all the same size. Yeah. I think I actually think these are gonna These are gonna be alright. These are gonna be alright. Two dollars for all of them. So there's three. Four. This one looks like it's missing the helmet though. Four. Yeah, that one's missing the helmet. Well, if it's missing the helmet, so I probably will just yeah. And the gloves. I'll probably just throw it away. Yeah. Or give it to Jesse to wear in the house. <laughs> yeah. Does, so, where's the gloves at? Are they in the? Okay, they're in. They're in the bag. I hope they're. <clears throat> so they're all size large. Careful, you have coffee for me. All right, so that, there was four of them that were good. So I think Halo Infinite Master Chief Kids Muscle Costume. I mean, if I get 20 bucks for all of them, that's $80. 20 bucks each, yeah. So, yeah, 20 bucks each. All right, all right. Next. the last item. Sony PlayStation Joystick Console. $12 plus 13% buyer's premium. This was the risk. This was the one thing that I risked. So there was... I think this whole thing was a risk. No. There was... They had... There was a bunch of... Maybe I'll record if I'm talking about it. But there was a lot of PlayStation 1s. But every PlayStation 1 I've bought hasn't worked. The disk drive is broken. And That's I didn't really cool. want to risk it. So this... It's a dual joystick. But how are you going to test You're it? Telling you all the buttons. I, have, I mean, if you don't have a working joystick, I don't know. We'll figure that out. It's very cold on the bottom. It's like metal on the bottom. Um, start over. So to look it up, S Sony S C P H one 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 zero three ones zero. And so there he is. Eight listed and eleven sold. So mm -hmm. the previous sold ninety nine free shipping. Wow, seventy two dollars. That was on an auction one bid. Uh, One hundred thirty dollars that had the box. Seventy five bucks plus shipping. That looks like the pretty similar. Fifty bucks, fifty three. So this was like the risk. The real risky one, if it works, it's 50, 60 bucks. It's super cool to hold in your hands. Mm -hmm. And it's got the, all buttons. Everything looks everything looks good. It's just a little dusty. These things here are all in good condition. So the back looks good. It has all the, like these little things. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I don't know how I'm going to test it. The cord looks good. Because I can't play any games on any of the PlayStations I have. So, yeah. That was it. I guess we're going to have to call the auction company. And... Let's call them right now. I don't... Are they open? We'll find out. But it's like, even if they have it, we gotta drive all the way back down there. It's all failed. <laughs> we got ripped off. I think the phone service is not working actually because of the wind or something. Hmm. That's strange. Let's see here. What if this is the aliens and we're recording at this exact moment? Yeah. It says closed today, so. That's convenient. Ooh, vintage telephones? Yeah, do you see that? Nobody's bid on that either. So that's how, I'll talk a little bit about the auction. There was a ton of stuff. There was Wii's, Xbox One, PlayStation One, PS One games. There was two lots that were really good. They had Castlevania Symphony of the night which is like a hundred and some dollar game complete and they had two lots with one of each and i went up to 40 bucks i didn't want to go higher than that but they went higher i got outbid on both of them 
and then some Game Boy Advance SP boxes, and those sell for like fifty to seventy dollars. And there was three of them, just the boxes, and I think I went up to, I think I went up to like forty, fifty, just because if it, they had all like the little inserts in it, they would have been good, but I don't know, it was too risky. And then they had some other boxes, Pokemon Fire Red, the box, but I got outbid on that. I didn't want to risk too much. You know, that was the, that was the thing. On the first, on the first day of the auction, when I was just bidding like crazy, placing max bid on a lot of stuff, I was up to like 350 bucks. And then I got outbid on a lot of stuff. I accidentally bid, there were some gate PS1 games, cases that I thought had the games and I put my max bid to $30 and somebody took it all the way up to $30 and then thankfully like the last day somebody outbid me it was not worth $30 it was I mean if you had the games I guess if you had the discs so yeah that's the auction hall it was pretty good it was pretty fun it was like a seven day auction would I do it again? Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on if they can get me that, the plug and play, the gun thing. They probably gave it to somebody else. Like, slightly infuriated. Yeah. Last time, the last person that crossed me with this, they no longer sell on that platform. I think it was just a coincidence. Cause yeah. Because she went to pick up some boots that she bought and they had thrown away the original box. Which and was that, valuable. That was like part of the reason she got it. It was part so, of the value. So on this, it's called, what was that auction site called? EBID. EBID. And I left them negative feedback. And they only had like five feedback. So it was like, they had like five positive and one negative. Yeah. And then that week, that following week, they were like, well, we're no longer using that platform. Yeah. I left that negative review. And then, like, three days later, they're like, we're not doing that anymore. So, I don't know. I think it was just a coincidence. I think it was just a coincidence, too. But, don't cross me. So, that's the haul. I think, conservatively, if everything works, I mean, the, the plug and plays. If everything works, I'll make my money back. The plug and plays were, like, 40. These costumes... Uh, if I can get yeah. maybe 80, so there's 120. This joystick thing, if I can get 50 to 60, there's 170. So, 100 bucks. Uh, it's not my usual thing. I usually like buying something for a dollar and selling it for 20. Yeah. So, that's the video.